shalom beloved this is Eunice Kemunto with Kemunto Musings you are watching Kemunto Musings and previously on Kemunto Musings I have shared nine divine tests that you must pass before you are promoted to the next level actually previously I shared seven tests so today we will be discussing the eighth tests so i shared my last test that that we discussed was the test of jealousy test number seven so today we will be talking about test number eight the, one of the tests that you must pass before you're promoted to the next level is the test of hiddenness so if you have not watched the previous tests test number one to seven please go back to Eunice Kemunto youtube channel and review the previous seven videos so that you have context to the discussion and today we are talking about test number eight which is there test of hiddenness. So beloved, there are moments in your life when God will just put you away. He will just hide you. He will tuck you somewhere away. Um, you're, you're being hidden. You're being hidden. Probably God wants to hide you so he can process you, so that he can prepare you for the next level. So there are moments when you feel you have potential, you feel you ha you're good at something, but you just don't have the opportunity to share. You just don't have the, the platform to share what you have. You just don't have the moment, the, 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 the right moment to share what you have, or you just, something is, something somewhere is holding you back. So this is called hiddenness. Sometimes the Lord will allow you to be in the hiding so he can test you, but also so he can prepare you. A case in point in the Bible is Joseph. Joseph had this gift of being um, uh, the, the second, the second in command in Egypt. He had this gift of serving. He had this gift in him, the gift of serving in the in a very high capacity. But yet he was hidden. He was hiding in the prison for two years. Joseph just sat in the in the prison for two years. But while he was in the prison, he kept his heart right. He did not he did not uh, give up. He did not become resentful. He did not become bitter. But while he was in prison, we see him still uh, ministering to fellow inmates. We see him still very keeping keeping the the right, keeping keeping the keeping his right his heart right. So he passed his test of hiddenness. So you and I can also pass our test of hiddenness if we keep our heart right where when we are in the hiding when no one knows our name when we are we don't have a platform to share our products or our services or our ministry when um when we feel that we have this great potential in us but we have no opportunity to share it we have no way of coming out we are being tested we are going through the test of hiddenness but you and i must keep our hearts right when we are being um when we are in hiding we must not give up. We must continue to keep our hearts right. We must not become re resentful or bitter or we must not be jittery or we must not just be uncomfortable. No, but we just need to keep our hearts right so that we can um, pass our test of hiddenness and then have the Lord show us off to the whole world for the whole world to see us once we have passed our test of hiddenness so um i hope that you and i will pass the test of hiddenness just as we are trying to pass all the other seven tests so that we can be promoted to the next level of our ministry next level of our relationships next level of our business next level or next level of our career whatever next level that you desire to be to be promoted to please pass this eight tests that i have discussed and then your moment of shining will will show up so thank you so much for watching kemunto musings this is eunice kemunto and we have discussed the nine divine tests that you must pass in order to be promoted to the next level if you have not watched any of the tests please go back and watch these tests are very inspirational keep it here until we come back again to share our next video god bless you.